This podcast is about the simultaneous er regulation of glycolysis and gluconeogenesis by specific allosteric regulators. The breakdown of glucose by glycolysis to produce two molecules of pyruvate produces at most eight ATPs in energy. On the other hand, the synthesis of a molecule of glucose through gluconeogenesis from pyruvate requires an input of energy of equivalent to 12 ATPs. If glycolysis and gluconeogenesis were to occur at the same time, that will produce a net loss of four ATPs, which constitutes a futile cycle. To prevent such a futile cycle from occurring, both glycolysis and gluconeogenesis are tightly regulated by several uh, uh, regulators, including hormones, including covalent modification, of specific enzymes and uh, allosteric regulation of specific enzymes. This tight regulation of both glycolysis and gluconeogenesis ensures that these two pathways are unlikely or highly unlikely to occur at the same time. The focus today is on the regulation of both glycolysis and gluconeogenesis by allosteric regulators. The first of such regulators is AMP. AMP is a measure of a low energy status in the cell. High levels of AMP will stimulate glycolysis by allosterically activating phosphofructokinase 1, a key enzyme in glycolysis. Simultaneously, AMP will inhibit fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase, which is the reverse step or bypass step in gluconeogenesis, and therefore it prevents Uh, gluconeogenesis or inhibits gluconeogenesis. Other allosteric regulators of both glycolysis and gluconeogenesis are ATP and citrate. ATP and citrate are both indicators of a high energy status in the cell. Both of these molecules can allosterically inhibit PFK1. On the other hand, high levels of ATP will activate gluconeogenesis by activating fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase. Another allosteric regulator of both glycolysis and gluconeogenesis is fructose 2 6 bisphosphate. When this molecule is elevated in the liver, it will activate PFK1 and inhibit fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase simultaneously. On the other hand, when fructose 2,6-bisphosphate is low, it will not be able to activate PFK1 and will not be able to inhibit fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase and therefore gluconeogenesis can proceed. In summary, two important allosteric regulators, AMP and fructose 2,6-bisphosphate. When these molecules are elevated in the liver, they will activate PFK1 while simultaneously inhibiting 
FBP1 or fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase. These effects on key enzymes in both glycolysis and gluconeogenesis will help ensure that these two pathways are highly unlikely to occur at the same time uh, in the liver. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.